same old story in time.
You've stolen from me. I won't forget that. You'll be sorry for that. You've stolen from me. I won't forget that. Ah! Ah! You'll be sorry for that. What are you doing out here? I want to be left in peace, so get lost.
Hey, you! What are you doing out here? I want to be left in peace, so get lost. Why are you here and not in the camp? I'm waiting for a friend to return from the mine. He owes me some ore. I can't turn up in the camp without the ore. I couldn't pay the protection money for the guards and then things would get real heavy for me. Something about that story after all. Some people I never doubt that's ever right. Obviously, there was trouble in time. You shouldn't believe everything. That wasn't very clever. I'm, not again. I'm ready to go with you. Let's get the amulet. Okay, let's do it then. That wasn't very clever. You find somebody and you're in trouble. That's how it goes. It's obvious that there'd be trouble let's ahead. Let's talk about some well, I'm not involved. There would be trouble ahead. So, here we are, far away from your friend Diego. We're to send you regards from Bloodwin. Now you're done for! Sorry for that. So, you idiot, just wanted to trap me. Hey, You'll be man, sorry for that. We're sitting in the same boat. I am not into digging in the mines either, so I'll do what the guards tell me. Then I'll be accepted soon. That I should whack you, of all people, is your own fault, really. Why did you have to start a bloody fight with the guards? Personally, I don't dislike you. So, what do you think? Peace or further fighting? Peace sounds good. I'm glad we see eye to eye on this. Let's forget about it. From now on, I'm on your side. If you ever have trouble again, you can count on me. I owe you some, after all. And how far have you got with your tests? I've already talked to Dexter and Sly and Fingers. They are some of the most influential shadows here in the camp. Hey, you! Hey, you! Clever boy. Hey, you! Put the weapon down! Clever boy. Come on, put that thing away. Put that weapon down. Uh. He's out of car! Uh.
You'll be sorry for that. You'll be sorry for that. I have the list from Ian. Well done. That'll get you a few brownie points. Take care. What's up? You can't go in the castle. Beat it!
Hey, you! You've been lucky there. Lucky there.
Hey, you smart ass. <laughs>
the right decision.
He's never going to show his face around here again. I'd have felt happier if you'd killed him. I have the thousand nuggets of ore. Now let me go in. All right, go ahead. You can go in the castle, but don't do anything stupid, okay? Stop! Relax. I've talked to Thoris. I'm allowed in. Oh, I won't forget your face, pal. You get into trouble and it won't end quickly. Don't let you in. Thoris. And what do you think you're doing? I have a message for the mages. You work for the mages? I don't want nothing to do with them. Can you teach me to fight? I only train guards. So until Thoris has made you one, you'll have to find someone else. What's in this house? That's the Ore Baron's house. You better behave yourself if you go in there. I'm looking for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. Just go to Milton. He deals with gophers like you. If you think I'm you have better than cleared up ages tell. ago. I doubt that's ever likely to change. That Some people never learn. I'm looking for the high magician of the Circle of Fire. Speak to Milton. And now go. Hey, you. Greetings, magician. May Inos watch over you. 
I trade in magic knowledge, and I can show you how to increase your magic powers. How's venturing in the magic arts? That's none of your business. Hey, you! What do I have to do to become a magician? Talk to Master Kadisto, if he has time for you. I want to acquire magic writings. You may not cross this doorstep unless Master Caristo allows it. I'm looking for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. That is Caristo. What do you want with him? I have a letter for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. Are you a messenger from the outside world? Yes. A magician gave me the letter shortly before they threw me into the colony. Show me the letter. Here it is. This letter is addressed to Zardis. What's so exciting about that? Zardis has not been a servant of Innos for ages. He left us some years ago and turned towards black magic. He lives in a tower in the middle of the Orc land and concentrates on his studies. He said he would go his own way to find out what went wrong with the barrier. Wait here. I'll be back in a moment. Caristo was beside himself with delight. He said that you may go to Torres and choose your reward. Where can I find Torres? He is in front of the temple building all day. At night, he is inside like all the others. But only magicians may enter the temple house, so you can only speak to him during the day. Tell me something about the magicians of fire. The circle of fire takes its powers from the grace of Innos. The god of light, truth, and justice watches over us. The magicians consider themselves to be the chosen ones, and that's how they treat others. I was lucky to be admitted. Caristo made me his apprentice. He probably just wanted some entertainment. Since then, I've been trying to improve my magic skills every day in order to be admitted to the next circle. I want to become a magician's apprentice too, just like you. Caristo chose me because I did something special for the Ore Barons. Unless you do something truly exceptional, he will never consider you for apprenticeship. Besides, you must belong to the old camp. I doubt if Caristo would take a member of any other camp for his apprentice. See you later. Hey, you! Caristo sent me. I've passed the letter on to him, and I'm to choose my own reward. You have done us a great service, and you shall have your reward. Choose carefully. I would like to have the potion. A wise choice. You have picked the most precious of all gifts. Drink the potion, and your power will grow.
What do you do here? I take care of the guard's weapons. Do you sell weapons? Only to Gomez and his men. I get it. I'll see you. Hey, you! You're the smith, aren't you? That's right. Do you sell weapons and armor? Skip deals with the weapons. I just hand out the armor. What kind of armor have you got on offer? Only armor for guards. And you're no guard. So you have to get your armor elsewhere.
I've come to stuff your big mouth for you. <sighs> well, come here and give it a try, Sonny. Now you're done for. <laughs> try that again, and you'll regret it. Now you're done for. <laughs> Try that again, and you'll regret it. Another step. Why? The Ore Baron's house is out of bounds for scum like you. If you think there might be an issue, you know. I'd like to buy a map. Sure. What are you thinking of? The more you can see on a map, the more expensive it is. You! Now what? The time's come for you to prove you're a true friend. Just ten ore and you're in. What do you say? See ya. Take care of yourself, kid.
was obvious yeah, there was some trouble yeah. ahead. He thinks that's really not my problem. Hang on, I keep it to yourself. Better not go rushing in on this thing. You have to watch what you're telling me. Hey, you! Everything okay with the dam? It's strong as a fortress. Nothing can knock it down. Hey, you! What are you doing? I'm making rice snaps, boy. Here, have a bottle. But don't tell Silas. How's the distillery going? I can hardly keep up with these guys. Man, can they drink. That's a good thing, really. While I'm busy, the rice lord's lap dogs leave me alone. What can you tell me about the Rice Lord? He's a damn swine. His thugs pick on the weak and force them to work in the fields. Well, the only one who could stand up to him is Horatio, but uh, he doesn't do violence. Well, I did once hear him say he'd love to smash the Rice Lord's head in, but uh, he'd never really do it. He had to go against his beliefs.
right. Then show me the stuff first. Here you go. Yeah, great. Well, give me the thing now. Again. But did you really think you'd get something for it? I mean, if you're stupid enough to believe that, you don't deserve any better. I'm amazed to see you're still alive. If you believe everything people say, you won't survive on you. It doesn't matter, though. The boys have enough food for a party. Thanks a lot. And maybe we'll meet you again. <laughs> hey, man, you can't do that to me. What more do you want? Piss off. Get on somebody else's hands or you'll get it. Got it? I'm afraid I'm going to have to whack you on. We've had our fun. Now get lost, man. I believe you didn't understand. Okay, then. You asked for it. You were warned. Now... Try that again and you're dead. I have a bit. Show me this. Here you go. Yeah. You can get it, but if I'm a maid, doesn't matter. Hey, man, what more? I'm afraid we've had our fun. I believe you. Okay, now we're done. I have been shook. Here you go. Yeah. Well, give me the forget it, but did you really? I'm a maid, doesn't matter. Hey, man, what more do you. How's it going? Do you want to buy something? I need a few things.
Hey, you! I've given the list to Diego. Good. I positioned some men on the path to the old mine. Thoris's guards are lying dead in the forest, even as we speak. They've already mugged the convoy? Where's my share? Go to see Gorn. He'll give you something. I know Gorn. He's no member of the gang. He's a mercenary who works for the mages. Yeah, that's right. Was he involved in this business? Knowing too much isn't good for you. Just go to see him and collect your share. in one of the gang's raids. Who says I did? Why would you have so much of the stuff if it wasn't true? Don't you think that this is all from one hall? You take part in raids regularly? If I did, I couldn't tell you. Lee wouldn't like that one bit. I see. See you later.
Hey, you! Lefty Silver. Thanks, boy. I needed that. Lefty Silver. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. Been a long time I've started drinking mud. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. Hey, you! Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. <sighs> Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. I was just about to start drinking the mud. I've been thinking the whole thing over. And? Have you thought of anything better? Yes. I want to be able to take on the Rice Lord and his thugs. Ah. You wouldn't be the first to try. I will defeat the Rice Lord and his thugs, if you help me. Good. I've sworn I'll never attack anyone again. But I never said I wouldn't teach anyone else to do it. I'm all ears. If you want to hit powerfully, you need to know the right tactics. That's the first thing you learn as a smith. Learn to push your whole arm through, from the shoulder down to the wrist. The better you get at that, the more powerful the blow. You'll get the hang of it pretty quick. Thanks for your help. Use your knowledge for a just cause, and for nothing else. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. Lefty sent me. Oh, yeah? What did he say? I'm to bring the peasants some water. Right. There's a dozen bottles of water. There's about twice that amount of peasants. So make sure you share it out evenly. Well done. You're useful for something after all. I think this is exactly the right task for you. From now on, you do it every day. Go on with it right now. I'd better keep out of it. Hey, you! From now on, you can carry the water yourself. Oh, have you got better plans? I think I'll have to remind you who's the Are boss. Are you planning to attack me? I'll take you apart and uh, you uh, out uh, anybody else uh, around here uh, except uh, me. Never enough. do that again. You have to watch. That's what not really me. my problem. Ah, you're probably you right. From now on, oh, I think I I'll take you apart. It's oh, your turn now. Anybody else no around here except me? Uh, never do decided. that again. I'd 
better than you got him. When things would have gone very differently. There was a time when things would have gone very differently. differently. Same old Keep story. it to yourself. Every People time. don't need to know it. That was a very clever. Better not go rushing into anything. I'd better keep scared. out of it. Maybe. There must be something about that story after all. Hey, you! From now Oh, I think I'll take you apart. It's oh, your turn now. Have anybody else no around mercy. here except me. <sighs> keep it up! <sighs> Never do that again. I want to better myself. Hang on. Better not go rushing into anything. People don't need to know it. There must be some listening to all the way after all. It was obvious there would be trouble there.
I had better get out of it. Bob. As long as I'm not involved. You hear. Put it away! Put it away! Put that magic away! Put it away! Lucky for you, but I would have enjoyed polishing your mug. Just wait. From now on, you can carry the water yourself. Oh, have you got better plans? I think I'll have to remind you who's the boss. I'll take you apart. It's your turn to help anybody else no around here. I can't do that again. Thought that had been cleared up ages ago. Oh.